hello friends uh, welcome to my channel in my previous previous lecture i have I discussed about the plastic moment capacity of a fixed beam having udl today i will discuss how to find out the plastic moment capacity of a propped cantilever having udl okay so it's a propped cantilever whose end a is fixed and b is propped okay by a simple support and total length of this beam is l and it's a having udl of w kN per meter it's a working load it's a working load working load so when we will calculate the plastic moment capacity we have to convert this working load to ultimate load okay so now first of all we have to find out the number of plastic hinges so what will be the number of the plastic hinges so we know the formula number of plastic hinges equals to ds plus 1 so notice here it is a fixed support so the reaction will be here number of the unknown force will be here 2 and uh, here will be 1 okay because it's simply support so ds will be we know that the formula for ds is r minus 2 generally the formula is r minus 3 but uh, we will consider here r minus 2 so number of unknown force is here 2 here is 1 3 that is 3 minus 2 that will be equals to 1 so number of plastic things will be i am putting this value here 1 plus 1 it will be 2 okay now we know that plastic things generally forms at fixed support and where the bending moment changes sign okay so number of plastic things will be here too so here will be plastic things and uh, here where the bending moment change sign so two plastic things will form here so now i am uh, i have drawn the mechanism here so if it produce angle theta here theta one here it will also be theta one and this and this will also produce another angle theta two here as the loading is not symmetrical because it's propped okay that's why the angle at the two ends will be different so now we know that external work done equals to internal work done for this plastic analysis so i'm writing here external work done work done equals to internal work done okay so here external work done is nothing but ultimate load w into this a total area okay so total area will be half into length into delta okay it is that deformation delta okay now i have to find out the total internal work done now i am telling so one things here so maximum bending moment will be produced Max, sorry uh, plastic things will form so where the maximum bending moment generally occurs there so <clears throat> it will form maximum bending moment will be 0.414 l1 from this end and 0.586 l from this end this a this is the b okay so now i am calculating the total value of internal work done that is that will be m into theta 1 plus m into theta 1 here m theta 1 plus here 
m into theta 2 theta 2 so it is the elastic hinge it's not plastic hinge okay so equals to it will be so friends it will be 2m theta 1 plus m theta 2 so now i have to replace the value of theta 1 in terms of delta okay so from this figure here theta 2 equals to how much delta by this length 0.414 l okay so this value will be two point four one five it will be two point four one five delta y l okay and from here value of the theta one will be theta one equals to how much theta one will be delta by 0.586 so the value of the theta 1 will be this is the l it will be 1.706 delta by l so i am replacing this value of theta 1 and theta 2 in this equation okay so it will be w half into delta l equals to 2m value of the theta 1 1.706 this is the 1.706 by L. Okay. Plus M into value of theta 2 is nothing but 2.415 delta by L. Sorry, here we will be delta 2.415 delta by l okay so i am taking common these two m and delta by l is taking common so what value 2 to 1.706 plus 2.415 okay and it will be w into half into delta l so this delta and this delta gets cancelled out and i am multiplying this l by this l so it will be w into half into l square equals to m into so i am simplifying this it the value will be here 2 into 0 0.706 3.412 it will be 3.412 plus 2.415 okay so it will be m into 3.415 plus 2.415.415 it will be 5.827 5.827 okay 
so if we multiply this it will be w u into l square by 2 into 5.827 equals to m or m equals to the value That is the 5.827 into 2, 11.654, and value will be WU L square by 11.65. This is the value of plastic moment capacity of a propped cantilever having uniformly distributed load okay so mind it always mind it. it is not a fixed beam okay that's why the theta 1 and theta 2 are not equal it's not symmetrical okay and maximum bending moment will not be at the center okay in case of uh, a fixed beam or uh, simply supported beam having uniformly distributed load the maximum bending moment generally occurs at the mid span but as it's not simply support it is a propped cantilever that's why the maximum bending moment will be occurred at 4.414 from b okay so guys this is the total calculation how to find out the plastic moment capacity of a propped cantilever having uniformly distributed load so in my next lecture i will discuss about some other cases okay now guys thank you